joined now by one of those Valdez veterans, marine biologist Ricky Ott, who at the time worked in commercial fishing in Alaska. She joins us tonight from Pensacola, Florida. Great thanks for your time tonight. You're welcome. Good evening. You have been traveling the coast since this happened. Can you tell us your experiences and what you're hearing from people there? The experiences mirror across three different states now, four actually, including Florida. People are getting headaches, sore throats, nausea, dizziness, snuffy noses. These are people, these are surfers, these are turtle watch volunteers, these are the spill response workers, identical across four states. And we have BP still maintaining that these people do not need respirators, either on their cleanup or in the communities. That's one thing. Another thing is that the people, especially the Turtle Watch volunteers, who walk the beaches consistently every morning at 6 a.m., they're saying the carcasses are disappearing. People who walk the beaches at night, they've seen little baby dolphins wash up dead, flashlights, people descend out of nowhere, a carcass gone in 15 minutes. There's reports from offshore of massive kills on the barrier islands from fishermen who have been working on the, uh, the spill response. And the, what BP's response has been is to use metal detectors to keep and prevent the people from even taking cell phones out to photograph this. We've had lat longs, we've flown pilots out, carcasses gone. So, uh, and also now we have reports of emails that anything to do with carcasses, they are disappearing from people's servers. None of this is being captured on, on videotape. In other words, if there is an attempt to suppress this, you're suggesting there's a, both an attempt to suppress this and also a very effective attempt to suppress this information and these images. Absolutely. Uh, images are evidence. Uh, carcasses are evidence. These were under lock and key. Exxon Valdez, NOAA did the collection, a federal agency. Um, and here what we see are people, I've been able to get some pictures um, of BP raking up bird carcasses, separating heads from bodies. Supposedly NOAA is saying, oh, these carcasses are all going to be autopsied so we can determine cause of death. You're not going to autopsy a carcass where the head is removed from the body. So in my opinion, uh, there's a very uh, strong attempt not only to control and minimize how much oil um, it was spilling, but now to control the evidence of the damage, um, the appearance of carcasses, and you have sick wildlife, you have sick workers, it's the oil that's making this problem. We need Obama to stand up and order respirators on all the response workers now to avert a human tragedy. On the premise that, that all this is being done, uh, you're, and you're certain this is the, the, the things that you have seen are being done by BP and not by NOAA at BP's instructions or local police at BP's instructions, whichever the formula is, do, what, is there, what is the evidence that, that, uh, that you can present to support your, your claim? I put uh, several photographs on Huffington Post uh, of literally a bird's head and a rake and the head being separated. Um, we are, um, I can get pictures of the early, the raked beaches in the morning from the Turtle Watch volunteers. Um, I'm also going to ask people to start taking pictures of their skin rashes and blisters. This is coming in from surfers now and from um, the Turtle Watch volunteers as well as the workers. In response to this, Tulane University is uh, deploying a mobile uh, medical unit to the uh, Venice area and also we're working with physicians for social responsibility um, to come in all five of the Gulf Coast states and right now what they're doing is counseling medical doctors because this is not like hmm. an ordinary headache or flu this is you know chemical poisoning very likely um, it's not just tar balls that are washing ashore in moose it's the invisible oil the, the underwater plume that's coming ashore it's surface oil and it's also these vapors there's five forms of oil uh, that's coming you know onto these communities and that the workers are experiencing so we've we've actually have a team of physicians that believe us and they're down here um, and Tulane University as well Ricky Ott marine toxicologist commercial fisher from the uh, Exxon Valdez times outlining now for something new and uh, as equally disturbing as anything else we've seen here the, the potential of a human health crisis in enveloping uh, the entire gulf uh, we'll stay in touch with you if you can stay with in touch with us we'd appreciate it thanks for your time tonight you're very welcome